hi guys and welcome back to my channel once again today we're going to be making this short and boo that you can see on thumbnail it's totally easy and very very quick to make i actually have a hangout in like two hours from now so i, I decided to make something to wear okay very casual something very casual i have a hangout with hobby this later this evening so i decided to make something so here i have with me this ankara fabric it's actually a small print okay so i'm going to be working with it all right i'm making the top and the but so guys if you're taking it for the first time you're absolutely welcome trust me you're in the right place um you're welcome here you're going to love it here so without much further ado let's go right into the video remember to subscribe so we don't need much um measurements we only need uh the nape of our shoulder to about the length of the sleeve okay and then the length of the dress i mean of the top okay so i'm going to be using about 26 to 27 inches for the length okay i'm going to add also two inches allowance for that as well so i'll just be marking around 28 inches from the top this way no i said 27 inches so about 29 inches will do okay from the top right here this dress doesn't actually need so many measurements or so many measurements like i said okay you only need the measurement from the nape of your neck to about the length of the sleeve i don't want it to get to my elbow here or anywhere around that region so and my measurements about this is 17 here this is what i have 17 right here i think i'm okay with that i don't want it to get to that point i'm going to be folding um, the sleeve as well so let's just leave it at 17 inches on fold okay so i'm going to take my measurements let me get the start line first i'm just going to use this black savage line as my start line okay now i'm going to measure my bust point is about 10 and a half inches my half length is about 17 inches which is something you do not need to do actually need it. and then the full length is about 27 inches okay i'll need about two and a half inches for my um folding i mean the hem allowance i want it to have a bold hem okay so i'm going to leave about two and a half inches right here okay so i'm just going to quickly rule that out if you look at this dress it doesn't have it's like a doorman dress a doorman a doorman top okay it has no fitting whatsoever so i'm just going to be making use of my hip in fact it's going to be a straight dress straight top I don't know why I keep calling it the dress. Okay, my hip is about 46, um, 46 inches. Alright, so divided by 4 give me about 11 and a half. So I'm going to be going with 11 and a half. I'm going to add about 3 inches or let's say 2 inches allowance. Okay, so I have 11 and a half right here. So my my 2 inches is going to be as um, an ease. Alright, the dress is actually free. We can make it 1 and a half. Okay, for the ease. Then about half inch. For my sewing allowance so i'm just going to use this okay i'm going to take this up to my bust point as well so this is about um, 14 inches i'm just going to mark 14 inches right here because i do not want this to have any fit in so the dress doesn't even have any fit okay it's a big top all right so i'm just going to pull that out okay now i'm going to come up to the neckline right here we're going to be making use of um the v neckline for a V neckline, you do not really want it to be too wide, so we're making use of three, three one quarter inches for the width, okay, and the depth should be about from seven inches, okay, so that you have that um, deep V, all right. But I'm going with seven and a half, or thereabouts, okay. This is it right here, all right. So I'll be marking for my front and half. For my, for my front and my back at the same time on this so that when i cut this i'll use this to cut out my um, back um, my back piece so i'm going to make my back piece about two inches or two inches is okay because i'll have I'm using my free hand to make that curve already now i'm going to come over here to the sleeve okay i'm going to come down with about one and a half inches this way and i'm going to connect that to the tip here right here where the neck width line 
right there, cut right there. Okay, my round sleeve is about 14 inches on a good day. That's it. It's divided by two is about seven inches. But I'm not going to be making this seven inches. I want it to have some um, space around there. So I'm, instead, I'm going to be making you of nine, nine inches in my um, sleeve opening. Okay, I want it to be open, like free. Okay, now this is what we have here. All right, this is nine inches. So I'm just going to be marking nine inches right here. Now, if you look closely, these are nine inches mark, and this right here is our side seam allowance. At this point right here, I'm going and I need half inch, okay, to join my sleeve already. So I'm just going to take this to my bust line, which makes it the 10 inches mark, okay, right here. So what I'm going to do is this is giving a sharp, this is a sharp edge right here, and you don't need that on your dress. In fact, there's no part of the body that is as sharp as that. So I'm going to take my tape. And place it down there and measure out one inch just to um, guide me okay so just take a look at what I just did I just made a curve right so when I'm sewing this or even when I'm putting this on I won't have any issues it's going to just be perfect on me okay it's just going to be perfect when I put it on it's just going to rest nicely okay so we're done here this is basically it we're done okay I might decide to place pockets in front all right so but that's so the, it depends on my preference. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly cut this out and then place it and we cut for the side for the back piece. So I'm going ahead to cut for both front and for the back. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out the facing for both of them. Okay, our facings are ready and this is what we have for our front and our back pieces okay so i'm just going to quickly put this aside and then go ahead to cut the shorts okay the length of our shorts is going to be 20 inches but first i want to mark out my um my hem okay so i'm going to be marking out two inches for my hemming allowance right here so that i can guide us Okay. Now here is 20 inches from this line right here upwards. 20. Okay. 20 inches. Okay. Now the first measurement we want to take is our round hip measurement. Okay. Our round hip measurement is about 46 inches. Okay. And 46 inches divided by 4 is 11 and a half. 11 and a half. So that gives us. Um, 11 and a half inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark 11 and a half inches from this mark downwards. Okay. 11 and a half inches downwards this way. And then I'm going to lay that out. Right. I'm, I'm also going to, before I start taking these measurements on this line, I'm going to mark out half inch allowance. Okay, I usually like to use this half inch for my sewing. Okay, you want to start as we go on, or better still, you want to start when you do this on your own. Okay, so I just went ahead to mark half inch. Now I'm going to be taking my measurements from this one inch mark. Okay, now just on this point. So for my um, crotch, my crotch is about 28 inches. Sorry, my round tie measurement is about 28 inches divided by 4. Divided by 2 is 14 inches. So I'm going to be marking 14 inches right here. And I'm going to still go ahead to mark this 11 and a half inches already for my hip. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it right here. I'll go ahead and mark it right here as well. 11 and a half inches. It's more like making a box, okay, a square. Right. Now the next measurement I want to take, okay, is our hip line. Okay, the hip line I'm going to be working with is about nine and a half inches. Okay, nine and a half inches. I'm going to be marking this from this point right here. Okay, I'm just going to make this line. Now this hip line helps to make your hip, the the, the core from the waist to the hip. It makes it take the shape of the body. Okay, rather than just take your straight line from here down to the hip line, yeah, sometimes it gives a sharp, a pointy look. Okay, so that's what the hip line usually helps me do. Now, on my waist, 
I'm going to take my waist measurement. My waist measurement is 35 inches, divided by 4, give me 8 3 quarter. What I have there right now is 10, 11 and a half. So we're going to minus um, 11 and a half from, um, we're going to minus 8 3 quarter from 11 and a half. So this is going to give me 1, 2, 3 quarter. So you want to divide 2, 3 quarter evenly on both sides. So 2, 3 quarter is going to give us um, 1, 1 quarter and a point. So I'm just going to take 1, 1 quarter and a point right here. And then I'm going to mark the same thing right here. So when we measure, you see we have our exact 3, 8, 3 quarter here. So this is our new waistline. Okay. So I'm going to take, mark this, drag this to my hip line. And I'm going to take this measurement to, down to my hip line. This way. Now we're almost done with this. Okay, let's just take our hip curve, I mean our crotch curve. This way, you do this manually like with your free hand. Right? Now, the next we want to do is uh, the hem of the shirt. Uh, it depends solely on what you want to do, like how you want yours. If you want yours to be a palazzo, like very free, like exactly what I think what is on the thumbnail, you can go ahead to just measure out your 14 inches that you have here and then mark it right here and then just rule a straight line and cut it okay that's if you want it this wide but i do not want mine this wide this is too wide for me okay so i'm just going to be making use of 24 inches is okay for me and 24 inches divided by 2 gives us 12 so and we have 14 here so that means we're taking off 2 inches on both sides okay 2 sorry 1 inch on both sides rather 1 inch right here and 1 inch right here so now we need to, we have our two, 12 inches, okay, this is okay, okay, so that it will be too wide. Now this really depends on you, if you want yours to be um, tight, take the round time measurement about where the length of your shorts is, and then take the measurement to be sure, okay, and that should be it, okay, so that's basically all for the front. So now later we'll be making some alterations around the waistline right here. We're going to be moving um, and taking out some measurements right here. But for now we're good with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out. Okay, now watch how I've cut this out. right here is for our front piece. Okay, I've gone ahead to place my front piece on the back piece. I just cut out this piece so that we can have a smaller fabric to work with. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead to, on, on my crotch here, I'm going to make an extension of about two and a half inches. Okay, now this depends on the size of the client. If the client is very big, like has a very big butt, okay, you want to use like two and a half or three inches. Okay, but if the person is slim, two inches is fine. That's what I'm going for about two and a half inches. I'm not all that on the big side. So right here on the side, you want to go with two inches all the way down to the hem of the short. Okay, what to do this. Okay, and then connect this to this right here. Right here, we're going to take out um, two inches as well. Okay, so we're going to mark two inches away from the first, the front piece. All the way down to about the hip line, the hip line right here, and then you want to connect this using a free hand to the crotch extension right here. So, I'm just going to use my free hand to do this. I hope you can see this. Okay, now because of the bolts, the allowance of the bolts, we need to extend this the back piece upwards with about. Now it also depends on the size of the butt of the client or you yourself, okay? So if, if the person is really heavy, like has a very big butt, you want to increase that to from one and a half, two inches, and, and, and as it goes. But if the person is of a medium size, I think one inch is fine, okay? So you just um, you can eyeball it, or better still, just with your discretion to know how many inches to go up by. But for me, I'll be doing with about about one and a half inches that's perfect for me so i'm just going to mark one and a half right here and then i'm going to extend it to this line right here 
two is on my cover okay i'm going to mark at one and a half inches line and then extend to this two inches right here now take note of where i took my line my allowance from my i extended from the top of this not from the top of the metal allowance okay i extended up with this will not be here if you do this here you will have excess right and you don't want that so at this point right now we want to cut so what i did was just to place exactly where it is and just make this adjustment this shot doesn't have um, the pocket inside of it i don't like short and pockets in my shorts so we're done with this now it's time to couple our pieces together now before we go on because i said this is a small print i usually like to line my um shorts especially when they are small prints like this so that they don't embarrass you on the way okay so they don't tear or just embarrass you one kind so it's better for you to line it okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut this same piece exactly as you can see right here about maybe to this length right here for a lining or my lining rather i'm just going to do that and then i'm going to move over to the machine to couple this so the first thing i'm going to do on my machine is to okay so i'm going to go ahead and um, so my um, facing okay this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sew my face in this way with half of an inch on the neckline. Okay, and then the main dress front side facing front side. Okay. Half inch here and half inch here. I saw the neckline and I finished up the neckline as well. Okay, so um, I have a video on how I did this, how I fixed the neckline, and then also um, placed it down, ironed it to smooth, and also have your DVD. Okay, in my previous video, so you might want to check that out if you find this video. Okay, so the moment I have to the sleeve here, I'm going to have, I want to have um, a ton of a ton of right here okay so i'll just get my strip of fabric okay so i have with me um two strips of fabric okay that is um four inches by let's say 24 inches so four inches in width and then it is 25 inches long it is definitely more than what we need right here okay so at this point what i want to do is i'm going to fold over this way into two i'm just going to fold over this way now i'm sewing from behind okay we want this to fold to the front okay so i'm going to sew with half of an inch from behind this way and then i'm going to top stitch to the body of the dress and then fold it over this way i'll pick that again okay probably i'm going to just pin that down so i'm just going to pin with half of an inch this way going to sew this now with half of an inch and then i'll have something like this then i'm going to top stitch to the body of the dress and not on the turnover so that i can have this turn over this way so i'm going to do this for both sleeves and then i'll come back to show you what's next to do at this point also if you want to have a pocket in front right on, on the front piece right here you can as well go ahead to cut them out and place them as well i haven't made up my mind if i want a pocket in front or not but for now i'm just going to go ahead and go um with the turnover turn up for the sleeves and i'll get back to you okay i've fixed i've turned over the sleeves okay can you see how neatly that is okay i've gone over to um i sewed it and i top stitched then i folded them back okay i've done that for both sleeves and then i went ahead to just place two pockets just for pocket sake not like it's even obvious this these are the pockets right here i can pick them up at any time okay so we're done with the shirt so the next thing to do is just to take half inch from the arm bone straight up to the hem on the other side and then fold the hem with about um, two and a half inches that we left okay so i'm just going to do that and then i'll quickly put this aside okay over to the shirt i went ahead to also cut out lining for the shirt this is actually a small print so to 
feel comfortable wearing it <laughs> because you don't want to get embarrassed by this fabric it's very very light it could tear at any time but if lining helps it makes it the lining gives it more weight okay so i went ahead to cut out the lining i made it a little bit shorter okay i made it a little bit shorter than the main um short itself so at this point i'll just um place my just the way you do for a lining okay just the way they are like this i'm going to place them on the back side i mean on the back side of the fabric this way and this also the back side of the fabric now yes i remember that i said we're going to modify the front waistline so this is just the right time to do that so we're going to place the back um we're going to keep that back from side in way right place it aside and then we're going to work on the front piece okay now because of the waist of the woman right our belly we need to give an arc right here just come down with about one inch okay or one and a quarter inch and then draw a straight line or you could use a curve okay you could use a curve rule or sometimes i can say curve rule as people will make one very curve one very big curve okay just to, to the tip here to the tip right here and then you want to cut this out so this is basically it once you do this you're good to go all right this will cover you properly like cover you you won't have any it won't go over your belly button right it won't be too high and then it won't be too low either okay so this is basically it our waistband is going to be about one inch or thereabouts so we've cut out a little out of it and i'm using my um, my sewing allowance is right here so this is just perfect okay so now we're going to place the back also with the lining right on its back just do this for the front this way So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew half of an inch on both sides this way. In fact, okay, I've sewn it. I've sewn it by the sides with half of an inch. Okay, I did that for the both sides. So the next thing I want to do now is to fold the hem. Okay, so I'm just going to use my iron, right, to make a crease and then follow the crease when I'm ironing it. And I've done this while I was sewing, but I just wanted to show you. The procedure. Okay. Yeah. Once you do this, then you want to just sew the stitch, folding this in with about one quarter inch in, right? So you do this for this, and the same thing for the other one. Better still, once you do this, okay, you want to sew over. You want to turn over rather this way, and then sew the inner part. Okay, so I'm going to fold the hem and then sew the inner part, the inseam allowance, and then I'll show you what it is. The both sides, and these are what we have. Okay, that's for the shorts. Right, we're almost done with this. Now I'm going to have um, a zipper in front. Okay, my zipper is going to be in front. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to do is to put them together this way. I mean, with the back side. I'm going to sew with the back side. So I'm going to draw front side facing front side this way and then mark out one and a half inches make sure to put them together okay i'm going to measure i'm going to measure one and a half inches okay this way and then i'm going to sew all right i'm going to sew like in a diagonal way it's not going to be straight so this is one and a half inches. I'm going to sew into 
about half inch going towards the not to understand let me do this way okay now let me use my chalk to show you what i'm talking about now you're going to sew diagonally this way into half inch you are saying with half inch but this just helps to give an allowance for the butt okay it's going to be like like this okay so i'm just going to go ahead and sew this all up i'm going to go around under this way and then i'm going to sew up from about the joining under okay from this joining here i'm going to go sew up about four inches all right and then leave this upper part open the front part because we're going to be making a zipper placket there so i'll just go over and then sew with one and a half inches from the top and then go into half inch i'm going to take half inch round till we get to about four inches towards the front what we have see our shirt is coming out nicely okay so i went ahead to um add that okay i sewed that of about i picked half inch that's about one inch on both sides of the back the that the back the that the dots are only on the back so this is what our shirt looks like this is what it looks like okay so the next thing we want to do now is to fix plaquettes i'm going to do that off camera i have a video for that separately so i'm not going to make this video any much more any much longer okay i'm going to just attach that video all right in the description box okay i hope not to forget all right i'm going to do that then the next thing we want to do is to make um, a band for the waist so okay i fixed the zipper already very easy and clean, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and fix my band for the waist, and that will be done. I'll be done, and I'll show you the final. So guys, watch it this time. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying by. Thank you for clicking in, and thank you for watching to the end. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button and tell a friend about Rex, please. Until I see you on my next one. Bye.